Today we are going to compare two iconic helmets from Schubert, the C5 and the C4 Pro. The C5 is a successor to the C4 Pro which has been considered the very best modular helmet for a long time. Are you curious whether Schubert was able to continue its reputation with the C5? And are you curious about the differences? Then stay tuned because in this video I will go through all the features, specs and differences with you. Hi all, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we start with the review, I will first go over some general points with you. The C4 Pro and the C5 are both modular helmets from the German brand Schubert, which is known as a quality brand. The Schubert C5 with its 2206 certification meets all the strict requirements that will apply in 2023. Because the C4 Pro is an older model, this unfortunately does not meet this. Both the C4 Pro and the C5 are equipped with a plug and play communication system. This means that that clicking in the module and the battery is all you need to do in order to communicate directly with other riders or enjoy listening to music. The C4 Pro is prepared for the Senna SC1 communication system and the C5 is prepared for the Senna's SC2 communication system. Of course, you can also build any other system in such as Cardo. When we talk about the inner lining, we see a minimalistic liner on both helmets. The C4 Pro has a suggested retail price of 429 euros, while the C5 has a suggested retail price of 534 euros. This price difference is quite logical since the C5 is the updated version of the C4 Pro. Okay, let's get started with the C4 Pro. The C4 Pro consists mainly of Schubert's direct fiber processing and it comes in three shell sizes. The helmet is ECE certified and it has a round oval fit. In the size M, the Schubert C4 weighs 1660 grams. The visor of the C4 Pro is spindle lens prepared and it comes included in the box. The visor has quick release which ensures that the system can be removed quickly and the visor mechanism presses the visor tightly against the shell. Furthermore, the helmet is equipped with an integrated sun visor. Okay, now that we know this, let's see how the C4 Pro from Schubert performed out on the road. First of all, we look at the noise isolation. At a wind speed between 115 and 120 km per hour, we have a value of 99 decibels, which is really great result, and especially for a modular helmet. Then finally, we will look at the ventilation. With a wind speed between 115 and 120 km per hour, with an outside temperature of 31 degrees, we measured the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius inside the helmet, which is one degree cooler than the outside temperature which shows that the ventilation does an excellent job. Okay, before we announce the star ratings of the C4 Pro, let's take a look at the C5. The Schubert C5 is made from multiple types of fibers, including fiberglass and carbon. This was done using Schubert's signature direct fiber processing. Direct fiber processing, also known as DFP, is an innovation from Schubert. The C5 comes in two shell sizes, which means that a size XS therefore has the same outer shell as a size L, which is quite remarkable for this segment and a brand like Schubert. If we weigh the Schubert C5 in a size M, the scale indicates 1647 grams. The C5 is the first helmet from Schubert that is PJ certified. This means that it is also approved as a jet helmet and you may therefore ride with the chin guard up. A helmet must be PJ certified in order to be able to ride with the chin guard open. The visor of the C5 is called the Schubert SV6 visor. Furthermore, the C5 has an integrated sun visor which you operate with a slider on the side. It is notable that it slides down far which is nice when the sun is low. Schubert has further developed the old C4 Pro visor mechanism and we see in the C5 an advanced visor mechanism of a top quality. The mechanism pulls the visor ties against the shell and this should keep the wind and the noise out even better. Furthermore, the C5 comes standard with a Pinlock Max Vision 120 lens in the box. When we look at the visor mechanism, the first thing we see is a new patented function called the memory function. This means that when you have opened the visor and you open the chin guard and then you close it again, Again, the visor returns exactly to the same position. It remembers the position of the visor, so to speak. Okay, now that we know this, let's see how the C5 performed out on the road. We start with the noise part. In terms of noise isolation, the Schubert C5 gave us an average of 98 decibels at a wind speed of around 120 km per hour. If we then go to look at the ventilation, we have a value of 13.2 degrees Celsius inside the helmet and this is also the outside temperature. So this means that the inside and the outside temperature are the same and this is a very good result. Okay, now that we have collected all the data, we can start comparing. But 
Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. We are going to compare the helmets in chronological order, so again we start with the material. Both the C4 Pro and the C5 are both made of the same material. However, the C4 Pro is equipped with three shell sizes where the C5 only comes in two shell sizes. This means that the C4 Pro scores better than its successor in terms of material and it scores a well-deserved four stars. The C5 scores three stars on this part. If we are going to look at the weight, the weight of both helmets is extremely close to each other. And therefore they both score 3 stars for their weight. The same goes for the visor. Both helmets are equipped with a top quality visor and they both score a well deserved 4.5 stars on the visor part. If we then look at the noise isolation, the helmets are again really matched. The C5 managed to do just a little bit better with a score of 98 decibels on the decibel meter. Also the C4 Pro scores in this part excellent with a score of 99 decibels. With this top score, both helmets belong to the top 10 quietest helmets we have ever measured. Are you curious which other helmets belong to this top 10? Then watch our video, The Quietest Helmets of 2022. Finally, we are going to look at the ventilation. If we look at the ventilation, we saw that the temperature inside the helmet of the C4 Pro was one degree cooler than the temperature outside. This is an excellent result and with this, the helmet scores the full five stars. The C5 does not disappoint in this section either, as in this helmet, the temperature inside the helmet was the same as the temperature outside. This is an excellent score, making the helmet score a 4.5 stars on the noise component. Okay, if we add all these results together, we arrive at the average star rating. The C4 Pro achieved an average star rating of a 4.3, while the C5 achieved an average star rating of a 4.1. This is quite remarkable since the C5 is a successor to the C4 Pro and you would expect it to be an improvement on its predecessor. By lowering the shell sizes from 3 to 2, the C5 scored lower on the material part and on the ventilation part, the C4 Pro also managed to do slightly better. On the noise component, the C5 did slightly better than its predecessor but the differences are minimal. This brings us to the end of this video. We have seen that the C5 and the C4 Pro are really evenly matched. Yet, Schuber has not been able to surpass the C4 Pro with the new C5, which is unfortunate. We can conclude that the differences are minimal and that both helmets deserve their position in the top segment. Do you think that the C4 Pro or the new C5 is something for you? Then take a look at championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and various discount bundles. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the best reviews. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.